Hello and welcome to NADAP KB TV. This video is based on KB 301426 Volume Groups versus Dynamic Disk Pools. Let's look at creating volume groups. Select the array, right click and select Manage Storage Array. On the Array Management window, select Storage and Copy Services. Then select Total Unconfigured Capacity, which now shows us the total capacity. Right click, select Create Volume Group. Click Next. Give a name for the volume group. Ensure that there are no spaces. You have two options to select the drives. One is automatic and the second is manual. Automatic will allow the system to choose the drives for the group, whereas manual you would get an option to select the drives. Select manual and then click next. You can select the RAID level. It can either be 0, 1, 3, 5 or 6. I'll select RAID 1. Now you can select the drives that you would like to add. Manning two drives and the effective capacity would be 744 GB. Tray loss protection shows no since there is only a single drive tray available. Then I click finish. Now the volume group is created. Now let's look at the options for the volume group. You can add the drives, change the rate level from one to anything different. You can export the volume group or defragment. Now let's create a volume. In the volume creation wizard we would need to enter the size for the volume. Name of the volume. Click finish. Please note that there is no option to create a thin provision volume in a volume group. Let's look at the options for the volume under a volume group. Right click the volume and you have the option to create a volume copy or snapshot images. Increase the capacity. Change the modification priority and it ranges from lowest to highest. Change the ownership of the controller or change the segment size. Under advanced you have the option to disable data assurance or initialize the volume. Volume groups have an option for adding a hot spare. To add a hot spare, click on hardware, select any of the drives and right click and click hot spare coverage. You can select view or change current hot spare coverage. OK. And then you can select the volume group and then click on the assign button. Now you have the list of drives available. I'll select drive 3, click OK and then close. Now drive number 3 has been added as the hot spare. Let's look at the properties for volume groups. In a volume group creation you can select RAID, Disks. You can also migrate the RAID. Under volume you have the option to change the modification priority, segment size, increase the capacity. You cannot add drives to the volume groups and the disk failure is handled by hot spare. And the reconstruction speed is slow since the data is moved to or from a single hot spare drive. And you have the disk limitation of 30. And there is no option for thin provisioning. Now let's compare it with dynamic disk pools. To create a dynamic disk pool, select total unconfigured capacity. Right click. Create disk pool. Enter the name for the disk pool. You do not have the option to select the drives or select the RAID level. It's by default set to RAID 6. A minimum of 11 drives is required for a disk pool. One drive is set as the disk preservation by default. Then click on Create. Now the disk pool is created. To create a volume, select Free Capacity. Right click and Create Volume. Now you have the option to create a thin volume, which was not an option in the volume group. You can select the size. You can enter the name for the volume and then click Next. By default, it will have the physical capacity set to 40%, which is 4 GB. Expansion will be automatic and the maximum expansion allowed would be 8 GB. And the alert would be set at 85% full. To change any of these settings, you can select Customize, then click Finish. Let's look at the properties for the dynamic disk pool. Under a disk pool, you have the options to add drives as well as remove drives, which is not available in volume groups. 
and you can select the ownership and you have the settings for the threshold levels to be changed. For a volume, you have the option to create volume copy and snapshot images just as in the volume group volumes and you can change the cache settings, media scan settings or the preferred path but you do not have the option to change the modification priority. By default it is set to high and under advanced it has the similar options as volume groups to disable the data assurance or initialize the volume. Let's compare the dynamic disk pools to volume groups. Here the RAID selection is only for RAID 6. There is no option to select drives. RAID migration cannot be done. Volume modification priority is not available. Segment size is fixed at 128 kilobyte. There is an option to increase the volume capacity. You can remove drives in a dynamic disk pool and for disk failure handling it uses disk preservation. Reconstruction speed is faster since disk preservation allows the data to be written from many drives to the replacement drive. Thin provisioning can be done for dynamic disk pools and there is no disk limitation. For more information refer NetApp KB 3014256. Thank you.